Only if you can. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, they are doing the Goonies too. Anyway, welcome to uh, Press Start TV. Yeah, We've got Relevant. a lot of amazing stuff to talk to you about today. This fine first month of the 2015 year. We're all excited. Things are going well. Yeah, it's the second episode in 2015. I just said this fine month. Okay. It's, it's the first January. month. It's still, it's still January. January. Right. January. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about um, some news, of course. We'll be talking about some fighting games. We'll be talking about uh, industry news. And we'll be giving you our opinion on some of the best games that we're playing right now and enjoying. So we've got a lot to talk about this episode. With us, of course, today is Nine. Hello. We've got Mr. Gage. Hi. we got Miss Sam. Hey. And myself. My name's Will. Um, Same as last week. It's still Will. Let's get into this. Um, recently in the news, there were some, uh, some issues on both Sony and Microsoft side for these hackers. Yeah, totally Christmas time. Christmas Day. Totally ruined Christmas for a lot of gamers. Well, they said they were going to do it. Well, Lizard Squad said they were going to do it. Now, was this a Lizard before. Squad thing? or? I'm not 100% sure if it's actually been confirmed that it was Lizard Squad. So, so They're for, taking for credit the viewers for it. Who don't know, who is Lizard Squad? A, a hacker group compared to they're like anonymous as rival pretty much okay oh good so, we so they're a hacker yeah, group it's, they're, 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 they're all rivals <laughs> with everybody else <laughs> um, they had a splinter group form called finest squad who everybody thinks is actually responsible for this nonsense it, I, I hate these people yeah, all I, mean, I wanted to do was play games on Christmas and I couldn't because of these guys now I didn't, I didn't get affected really I didn't get affected oh, at all my Xbox was Awful. Well, I couldn't. For the next like, three days. PlayStation. I couldn't use PlayStation like, Network for two yeah. days. Now, was this an, an effort to go after credit cards or all this kind of nope, stuff? No, it was or just, just shutting it down. All they, they did was shut it down. Server so people yeah. And it was a DDO, DDoS attack. Yeah. Denial of service. Now, isn't I heard that there was a group of hackers formed to go after these group of hackers? Like that was their well, job. My thing is, is the intelligence that you know, and what. Their brain cells that they are using to do these things that are going to hurt. Be doing oh, so they could be doing more. so much more. Yeah. But they do it because they can, and that, well, that's, that's great. Use it for good. This is not good. This is just pissing people off. What would you use hackers for good for? Uh, FBI recruits. FBI. Them all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Catch me F if you can. You hack, hack other hackers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I asked. Them. <laughs> um, that kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, for for you know, uh, what's the word? Intelligence. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, that the is a word. the uh, secret intelligence, the uh, CIA, CIA no, the Central uh, Intelligence Agency, no, 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 like um, FBI, uh, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, anyway, military. <laughs> This work. is just the setting for Crackdown Three. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you, want, you want black ops stuff going on you here? Know, I would imagine, on a technology level, if we needed to find out that kind of stuff or, or hack into something or try to gain a leverage, if we ended up in World War Three, let's not do that. By the way, world. But if that were to happen, <laughs> just don't. <laughs> um, then there's something that that would be good for. Yeah. But other than that, I can't really think of any other situations. But yeah, what just we're trying to, to say is don't hack my don't, computer. Yeah. yeah, yeah leave us alone. alone. Leave you nothing to you Listen to deserve to this. complaining about this. Don't do it. I mean, if you want to hank, this. Hank. I mean, like you said. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Stop kid, talking. Kids are buying this stuff for Christmas. They're getting <laughs> gifts. They're all excited to get on the cable. Yeah, I got three games for Christmas. Couldn't play a single one because it couldn't connect to the internet. My husband had to go buy another game so that he terrible. could play a game because he couldn't play any of the games. Terrible. That, oh, no. I was like, you can... Know, That's a problem I'd like to have. Yeah, yeah, well, I have to know. buy a game so I can play another game. Yeah. He was yeah. bored. <laughs> I didn't, like I said, I, I never got affected, but anyway, I, it was, uh, I didn't play on Christmas Day, but still... Anyway, I, I just, that was a big deal. Obviously, people are scared when they hear something like that because they think that they're going to come after their... The credit cards, the, credit the cards, information. Their actual personal info. Yeah, yeah I mean... And no one wants that. No. I've got nothing to steal. But some I people do. I don't have money. <laughs> some people do. And, and it is a big deal. And hopefully, I, I certainly think that this should be a wake-up call for Microsoft and Sony and Nintendo even. You know, they, they need to make sure they're taking the right steps to protect all the video game fans of the world. I think Nintendo feels bad that no one hacked them. They're like, ha ha. They <laughs> <laughs> left us out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nobody wants to fight. <laughs> Why won't anyone hack us? <laughs> Maybe the, the group of Nintendo fans. No, Nobody needs right. friend codes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about um, 
some some world records. The greatest game of all time. Being beaten. Um, this is in the I'm news. Just beaten, just like. A slap in the face, really. <laughs> okay, so of course what we're talking about is Joden Stode beats Cosmos' world record in Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time is considered to be uh, the greatest game of all time. Oh, yeah. there, years ago, uh, fantastic. Time. there was a group of people that were creditable enough to make a top 10 list. And then they took that top 10 list and combined the, the, all those lists together. And anyway, I, after they averaged them all out, Ocarina of Time came out to be the number one Consistently game. Consistently on top. And the that's, other day it was beaten in 18 minutes and 7 seconds. That's crazy. So you, you heard him right. The game was beaten in 18 minutes and 7 seconds. Yeah, through a matter of glitching through walls and just kind of... Bomb chews used in ways you the game wouldn't imagine. Um, skipping bosses, skipping entire levels. Jumping yeah, backwards. Just, yeah, jumping backwards and just making the most annoying noise in the world with the young yeah. egg. But skipping bosses because it's an any percent run, which is... yeah. Beating the game, getting to the end credits as fast as possible. Using in, in any methods yeah. possible. And he was using the Chinese cartridge because there's less text to skip through. To skip through. So anything to shave off seconds, they were doing. And Cosmo, long time to get to 1810. 2,600 some odd tries. Well, that was Jones. Uh, was that Jones Stone's? Yeah, that was Jones Stone's. Uh, 657 attempts to get to 1807. And so, so, so playing that uh, game for that, oh my gosh, yeah. I can't even. Yeah. Like, yeah. A rapid oh. 20 minute session. So, so here's, the, here's the quick recap of everything that was just said. Joden Stone played the game, beat the game. Yeah. 2,600 2, times. 657 times. 657 times. Probably average around 20 minutes, you said. That's crazy. That's a lot of times. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, crazy. It's a lot of time. <laughs> and then Cosmos, the the, the show, how many tried times? For, he just tried for years and no, years I mean, and he, years. He, he's been holding Zelda records for a long time. He does a Wind Waker re uh, record that's crazy, too. But his Ocarina of Time record was... And this was uh, done at... 18 minutes well, and 10 I, seconds. Yeah, his was. But he, I mean, these, these streamers do it on Twitch all the time. Just oh, oh yeah. yeah. They'll do it six or seven times a night. Yeah, so so by any means necessary, I mean, obviously you want to enjoy the game, but if you sat down and played that game and played it like it's meant to be played... You're like 20 hours. I mean, you're looking at it like oh, easy. a long time. This guy, you know, 18 minutes, 7 seconds. And the world record was... 18 10. 18 10. So he literally just like slapped the guy in the face like, I did it better. Three, Three seconds. seconds. So crazy. Okay, well, we will have uh, more for you once we get back. Okay, welcome back. Um, we're going to be talking about some of the awesome fighting games coming out uh, this year in 2015. And the thing with fighting games, um, it's just a, it's a fun genre. I mean, it kind of like uh, gets overlooked. And I think a, a, a lot of, you know, as technology pro pro progressed over the years, you could do more things with graphics. You could do more things with RPGs, with fighter. Yeah, every or, every uh, other game was benefiting majorly from new and powerful systems while fighting games were still... Two characters. Is this it is it still a strong, it strong genre? Uh, I think, I think with, so. With the turnout of Evo last year, yeah. Evo, Apex, all of them. Well, and it's like, also a genre where you can play with your friends on the couch, like together. You're, you know, it's kind of like with Super Smash Brothers. You get your friends together, you play. Right, it's more fun to play with, with people, people that than, versus playing a game yeah. online. Yeah. Like you win, you get up and throw the control on the ground and go, up. I told you, yeah. Yeah. I did it. Yeah. Stay out of there. And. You know, yeah. you, you bring up Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Is, is a lot of people consider it a fighting game, but the creator considers it to be like a brawler, brawler you know, brawler or party, um, game. party game. Yeah, I mean, yeah. which either way, it's still an amazing game. But so. they've embraced the tournament aspect of it, which is great. Yeah, um, so. which is a great part of fighting games in general. But right. the beauty about a good fighting game is, you know, it can be simplistic and easy to pick up and play. Here's your kick and punch and whatever button. Um, here's how you do your special. You know, you know uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then. And, you know, at the same time, for tournament players or yeah. competitive players, once you can master it, I mean, it can be a very in-depth game. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take that character and practice oh, with yeah. them a lot, develop all the moves, how to how to move with them. People how know to how block. to match characters against other characters for yeah. advantage. So, yeah. so um, yeah, some great fighting games coming out this year. Uh, so let's talk about some of the bigger ones, um, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the biggest one. Yeah, <laughs> I, we, we went to E3, of course, um, and Warner was nice enough to show us a great demo and presentation of Boat Mortal Kombat. Of information at the time. And yeah, but they still showed us a lot of stuff. That's what I'm saying. Boatloads of information oh, at the time. They didn't have a lot of information. No. But, Boatloads. you know, so the thing with that game, though, is like when the first one came out, I was just kind of like. The another, first Mortal Kombat? No, the, the new, the reboot oh, one. Oh, oh, or the whatever. trailer? 
Well, the game itself, I was just like, okay, but they added the story element to it. They added the tower. They added mm -hmm. uh, like the progression. The challenge stuff. tower. Challenge tower. Some cool stuff. I was like, okay, that's fine. I, I bought it. It was fun. And this one, I was just like, okay, well, there's another one. And now what? I really like the new characters they got going with this. But I, uh, they've evolved the story of some of the previous characters. I just I, all I'll say is after watching the at Warner at E3, I was like, okay. Looks amazing. It's Looks be awesome. awesome. Like, that's all that matters. It's, it's I'm excited. Be awesome. So what are some of the new characters we'll be seeing? Uh, Carrie Cage. I think that big one was yeah, the Carrie Cage. Yeah. I think that's what they call her. Carrie. What's the first name? Carrie. Does that sound right? I like Carrie's. And this is uh, Sonya. Cassie. Cassie. Cassie, Cassie, Cassie Cage. Cage. That's, that's it. it. I was like, uh, Carrie doesn't sound right. Close. Sonya Blade and Johnny Cage. Sonya and Johnny Cage. Yeah. Yeah. Cassie Cage. Interesting. So it makes you wonder if there's going to be any other kind of interesting. I wonder if Sonya would be on there. Mom and daughter. Ooh. Her dad and daughter. Well, if the the newest character uh, Kung Lao that they showed off is an older Kung Lao. Right. With a hat. With a hat. Yeah. With a hat. With a hat. hat. Of course, that's as part of his moves. That, that, I mean, hat. that's his hat. trademark. Yeah. So he's older in this game. Maybe you'll see those characters as older renditions. Like Shao Kahn, older. You can have your dad older. versus your daughter. You can. It's Mortal Kombat. It's Mortal Kombat. It's Mortal Kombat. Kombat. You can do whatever you want. Um, and another One thing. Of the girls is a bee. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> literally a pretty bee. cool though. What was the other guy? The other guy was oh, he was like that uh, Egyptian kind of a dude, like a. Uh, yeah, what was? I don't remember his name now. And kind of, I'm, I'm remembering a tiki torch. I'm not. Sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tiki torch. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but you know, the, a lot of the fatalities look a, gr a great. The the bone the bone breaking scenes. Um, the X ray. The X rays. Those yeah. are back. Uh, they're bringing back a lot of the the cool stuff of the, of the first one, but they definitely things look smoother. Um, it is yeah. running on on Unreal Three. Unreal Three. Do you think they did just because when they started developing it, that's what they had? Wait. Why? Then we wouldn't be talking about it right now. That's fine. Enough games getting pushed back as it is. Wait. But they are they are they. It's kind of like they got the injustice feel too with yep. some of the, using the backgrounds and oh, some yeah. of the images. So there are some new gameplay elements there. <clears throat> Um, so for fans of Mortal Kombat, that would be, um, you know, an interesting change. Mm -hmm. uh, were there any new characters announced that you know of, or just I mean, the ones? In there. Yeah, Raiden's coming back. Um, yeah, again, staples. Staple, Th those yeah. guys are gonna have to show. The up. typical guys. Stick to what? Goro was, uh, I think, announced. Goro, I'm pretty sure, yeah. is coming back. And then yeah. Scorpion Sub Zero. Yeah, I mean, you can't have Mortal Kombat without Scorpion Sub Zero. Scorpion's my man, though. So. He's, oh, he's, yeah, a, he's you a big and deal. Another 65 percent of Mortal Kombat. Yeah. So. There. So. I like them. Big All deal. Right. You want to um, fight about it? <laughs> We're going to have a let's play. Let's just say. Nine versus Get over here. Gage. <laughs> Moving on. Or the turkey guy. Anyway. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken guy. The inside joke. Uh, <laughs> Tekken 7. Tekken 7. <laughs> which is running on Unreal 4. That is running. So will we see that big of a difference? No. 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 I think Tekken, because I'm don't. i not a fan of Tekken. Oh, I love no? Tekken. No. Love Tekken. I like Tekken. I don't know. Couldn't get into it, huh? No, because I was always more combat when I was a kid. And then, I played uh, it's a other. different style. Yeah, definitely. It, yeah, it's two totally different style fighting games. It's like clunkier and slower to me. Uh, but see, you know, remember uh, virtual fighting? Mm -hmm. Another different style. Um, Street Fighter. Street Fighter, different style. They all stand alone. That's why I said the fighting genre as a whole is just, it's, you can create a good 2D game, but, you yeah. know, I don't know if you make a 3, you can, you can make 3D ones, but they don't. Soul Calibur did it really well. Soul Calibur did okay. Soul Calibur they did, did a 3D a fighting style. game. Like, they did it really well, and then they just kind of started tanking. Soul Calibur 2 was awesome. Soul Calibur 2 that was, was fantastic. 3, 4, 5, I don't want to talk about Not so much. <laughs> So who's the new character that we're about. seeing in Tekken? So Tekken, they announced uh, Shaheen, a Saudi Arabian fighter. Interesting. That's, I mean, there's this, some small backstory out there, but there's not too much about it. I mean, Tekken not a whole lot small. about Tekken 7 not right yet. now. No, I mean, there's the, from the trailer, you get some kind of background It's just the there. final one. That's yeah. that's Last the second. biggest chunk of information Last we have. I'm sure they'll have more than just Shaheen. Oh, I'm yeah. sure, oh, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're not done with the characters yet at all. The, Introducing new characters, I think, is a very important aspect of. Yeah, it keep keeps fresh. things fresh, yeah. gets new people interested. And eventually, you'll have to cycle through some of them, right? Oh yeah. Get rid of some of the old ones. Hundred percent the game. Hundred percent the game. Because next thing you know, you'll end up with fifty characters and. Smash that's what, that makes sense, but these games maybe not so much. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we'll have more for you right after this. Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, 
Let's talk about that? what we're playing. <laughs> what, <laughs> what was that? Yeah, that's totally just not pre-rehearsed at all. What we're playing right now. So we'll talk about some of the games that we're currently. In our systems, taking up our time as gamers, and kind of let you know what we're thinking about them. Um, let's start with Gage. Okay. What's one of the games you're playing right now? A uh, game I'm putting a lot of time into is Far Cry 4 right now. Tell us about Far Cry so, in your opinion. I mean, we got a, we got a small chance to play Far Cry back at E3. Well, um, we we started to play it, and then Vern Troyer showed up, I'm and we got distracted. Vern Troyer <laughs> next to you guys. That's a little different. Well, Double crossbow. Got, Double crossbow. I didn't get to use double crossbow because I got the, I got in the helicopter thing and that was I, the game that was the weapon. No, I used it. I used it. It's yeah. it's really cool. You, but you remember uh, your experience? I didn't use it. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, Have you I, used it since you got the game though? No. No, I, there's like four guns I use, and that's it. Like, so kind of like Far Cry 3, you have your go-to weapons. Well, that's what I'm saying, getting to. It feels a lot like Far Cry 3, which is a good thing. I mean, yeah. I like Far Cry 3, and I like that it's very similar, and I can get right back into it, and I feel like I'm playing Far Cry 3 again. The story I haven't seen as is as gripping as Far Cry 3 was right away. Right. Um, How far are you into it, though? Do you know? Oh, I would say I'm probably two-thirds yeah. right now. Yeah. Well, it, you know, it could be a twist. Oh, I mean, I'm waiting for it. Because, I mean, yeah. But Far it, doesn't, Cry, it doesn't yeah. have like that same like standout character that Far Cry 3 had. Like Voss, it doesn't have Voss, that yeah. on yet. Wow. Or at least that I haven't seen globally. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm still holding out. Um, but again, I do like that it feels like Far Cry 3, but I don't know that if Far Cry 5 feels the same way as these two games is, if I don't like it. Because I, I don't like it as much as Far Cry 3, so I don't want to see it drop off again. Far Cry 5? Like if there's a Far Cry 5. Oh, if well, it falls like, the same, yeah. Because it really feels like I'm playing Far Cry 3, like, expansion. Just in a different Just with the setting. With the, yeah, with, and with and the with other the side of the island. The yeah. elephants. Kind of and the elephant's cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cool. <laughs> Have you killed the rhino yet? No, but I've been killed by a rhino. Oh, so that's, that's one thing I do like about this is that they brought back like random uh, oh, animal the encounters. Oh, stupidest thing! I'm telling the mm, this is the guys <laughs> at the wall. Going to an outpost is good because you got to take out an outpost. And I try to do things stealthy. Yeah. That's so you I'm, sit back in the in the yeah, woods. I walk around with all of a sudden tiger. So no one knows. And not not a, not a tiger. A Stupid eagle will fly down and start oh. ripping your eyes out. See, like, What's going on? I just get away from me. I haven't <laughs> I haven't played it enough to run into that yet, but in oh. Far Cry 3, the thing that really drove me up a wall? The tiger. Come over to dragon. The, dragon. Yeah. You oh. can't hit them. No. You wait, can't wait hit them. Get, wait till you have to kill a honey badger. I had to, I've killed a honey badger. <laughs> honey badger don't care. I had to make a bigger wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make a bigger <laughs> wallet. <laughs> Because honey badger don't care. And like the, whole, the rest of the game does, knows it too, because everyone goes like, oh no, eagle! And I'm like, leave it. Eagle! You ever watch Scrubs? No, I don't. Scrubs. Um, I'm also playing the crew, which, crew, which feels like you're playing Fast and Furious the movie. I, no, I wanted cool. to play that. It's okay. Um, you played it at E3 too, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I played it at E3 and I played it at home. Is that what sold you on it? Yeah, because it felt very. Yeah, because I, like, I remember talking to you in line. Yeah, I like um, arcadey racers, yeah. and I, I like Forza Horizon too. too a lot, and that was very re real stimulated. But I like arcadey feels, so I like Need for Speed, and the crew is very much that. Um, the story's kind of not there. But I, 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 I'm invested. I'm still playing it. and like, It's fun. That's what matters. Dry, I didn't think it would be fun to... Imagine that. That's yeah. what a game should be. <laughs> yeah. right? I didn't imagine it would be awesome and fun to see the whole world driving from Miami to New York. But it's really cool. Oh, that's awesome. Like Those two-hour races or whatever? I mean, I haven't done anything like that. But it's there. So, so here's a game that might be overlooked by a lot of people. The but crew? could be a great experience. Not reviewed well. Yeah. No, I'm it's not pursued it. very well at all. No. I think it's good like 6 out of 10. But I'm, I think it's better than that. Yeah. Check it out. That's what makes our show so great. You get to listen to people's opinions of unbiased opinions. You know, yeah. just things, <laughs> just just games. Because you might read something somewhere on the internet or whatever. You know, um, I don't know how you internet, but anyway, you, you <laughs> might. <laughs> how you internet? <laughs> I don't know what you do. You, if you come across something, you might say, "Oh, I'm not going to buy this game because of this person." Because IGN says it's bad, or, or because whoever. GameSpot says it's bad, or yes. get their free copy on time. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. But Sessler. on the other yeah. hand, there might be a great experience behind right. it, you know? <laughs> like Shaq Fu. Not, that, no. <laughs> no. No. No, we're not Shaq doing Fu this. Stop. Shaq Fu doesn't stop. Is there not a Shaq Fu game coming out? I mean, Indiegogo was met. It met its... Right now. It, it so. met its fund. Shaq Fu. All right, Shaq. That was for you. Anyway, uh, Sam, what are you playing right now? Destiny. Lots and lots of Destiny. You did not hesitate at nope. all. No. Nope. Nope. Well, it, yeah, no. That's all. That, that and uh, Tales of the Borderlands. Then finished that funny. the first episode of it's that. Really funny. It is hilarious. So with Tales of the Borderlands, is there like the same kind of morality 
choices with that? Or because I hear it's a lot of greed more than like like The Walking <laughs> Dead was kind of like heartstring pulling. Well, I mean, it depends on how you play. Like, okay. I mean, if you if you play the I'm gonna be evil and do what I you know that's the way the story's gonna go. It's funny to be evil. Let me tell it, you that. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're gonna be like, oh, I should do the right thing. Vanilla. You know, it's. It's still funny. Okay. It's still hilarious. I cannot wait for the second episode. Oh wow, cool. cool. It, yeah, it's gonna be. It's it's sounds entertaining. Yeah. It's and it's also one of those games that you can play, and then the people in the room can Don't watch have you to play. Feel bad for not playing. And <laughs> well, that's good too. I like you that. You know, they enjoy it just as much as you. It's do. almost like a cinematic experience. Yeah. Really versus so, a game. So Destiny, what what is it about Destiny that's taking up all your time? Oh, I'm an MMO player, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, basically, it's yeah, an, it, the grind, uh, the, the, the daily grind, grind. The, the getting the gear, the the raiding, the and uh, also playing with friends. Like a lot of my friends play Destiny. Nice. Nine. So, what do you got? Uh, I, I'm really digging Lords of the Fallen. I got it for Christmas, and it's it's tiding me over until Bloodborne comes out. Oh. <laughs> you know, I, I, I've I've Since researched I can't play Dark that Souls game right now. A, a little bit and, and talked to uh, some people out there, and they definitely say that if you're a fan of the Soul series, if you are a fan of the Soul series, is definitely worth checking out. Um, it's not the same as Dark Souls by any means, but it it's is very difficult, and it's it's very challenging. Um, and they actually have the same. they <laughs> have an actual controller setup that is almost identical to Dark Souls because so they knew a lot of pick up Namco Bandai knew that a lot of people were going to be picking this up because they're Dark Souls fans. Yeah, and uh, I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. The story's presented in a different manner than Dark Souls, but that's okay. Yeah. So if you're a fan of the Soul series, you might check out Lords of the Fallen. That was a big thing. But if you haven't played the Soul series and you get into this game, it's going to be that much more challenging. Oh yeah, it's definitely rough to. First time players. What else are you playing? Uh got a little big planet. Playing, playing that. And well. I'm playing uh Disney Infinity two point yeah. with my kid. He, That's a he, lot of he, fun. He man. enjoys running around being Iron Man even though I want to be Iron Man. No one wants to be Iron Man. Everybody <laughs> wants to be Iron Man. <laughs> I like being Hulk. Yeah. That's who I play when we play. I like being I play Hulk. The Hulk. So you know, we, we interviewed uh the one of the creators of uh, yep. Disney Infinity out at E three. I don't know if you remember that. That yes. was a great guy. Didn't get received well by some some of the reviewers and, and critics out there, but man, dude, I talked to some of my friends out there. I mean, I'm talking. I love it. Grown dudes. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, uh, just that are out there playing this game online, and I go online and I'm thinking, oh, we're gonna jump on a game of Destiny or Call of Duty or something like that, and Disney, you know, that's what they're playing. And so it's a very I addicting mean, game. It's a lot yes, of fun. It's a lot of fun. He and I enjoy blowing things up together. Yeah. So. I'm going to say for me, real quick, I'll just uh, throw it out there. I'm playing Little Big Planet. Um, I did play The Binding of Isaac a lot. i um, into that. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, a really cool game. Playing uh, Smash Brothers uh, still. Uh, takes up some time. And Destiny, uh, of course. Yeah, I play, play a lot Destiny of Destiny. Too. Have you guys gotten to do anything Little Big Planet? It's four player? Yes. Option? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we a lot of fun. I haven't gotten any of the new characters unlocked yet. Okay. Because I just got it for Christmas. So. The, the great thing about that game is there's puzzles for two players, three players, four players. Okay. And different and characters. And the different, they each require that character to do something right. since they're all different. It's pretty fun stuff. Okay. Um, and it looks great. Oh, it's it looks so beautiful. Cool. Um, okay, anyway. That's what we're into right now. Let us know what you're playing. Tell us what you think. We'd love to hear from you. Check us out on uh, Facebook.com slash Press Start VG and on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash PSVG TV. We'd love for hear, or to hear from you. So like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you're thinking. That's all the time we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time. Take care. Bye. Bye. See Bye. You. Bye.